You ever feel like you don't have enough time to get things done throughout the day? Ever look at your to-do list after dinner and panic when you realize that you really haven't got anything done? I just had a kid and honestly, I get pretty frustrated when it's 10.30 p.m. and everyone else is asleep and I still have a lot of work to do. Part of the problem is that I underestimate the finite amount of energy that I have and I just schedule way too much work to be done. The good news for you, We've come up with a solution that works pretty well for me and hopefully works pretty well for you as well. This week's update, I'm going to show you how I use spell slots to determine how much energy I have to complete tasks on any given day. Ready to get started? Let's get fortified. Welcome back everybody to week six of my six month health journey. If you want to know what that's all about, you can check it out right there. Today, I'm going over one of the strategies I'm using to manage my time and energy better. Stick around till the end of the video to see the special sheet we created to help you do the same. Spell slots are a resource in D&D that can determine how many spells a player can cast a day. Some of these spell slots are lower level and can be cast many times a day, while other spells are higher level and can only be cast once or twice a day. Now, we came up with a way to use the same idea of spell slots and apply it to the amount of energy we have to complete tasks. This helps us schedule work and events with more realistic expectations. Not only does it help us block off enough time and energy to complete important tasks, it also helps us to avoid beating ourselves up for not accomplishing every single little thing that we have on our to-do list. Much of what we came up with is based on spoon theory, which was first coined by Christine Miserandino. She uses the concept of a limited amount of spoons as an analogy for the mental and physical amount of energy that it takes to complete certain tasks throughout the day. As someone who lives with lupus, she sought to give people living with chronic illness or disabilities a strategy for them to plan out their day. We want to borrow this analogy and apply it to self-improvement. We all have a limited number of spell slots, splots for short, that we get to use throughout the day. Every task you complete is a spell. Depending on how difficult that spell is mentally or physically, you're gonna have to use more spell slots. High energy tasks like doing your taxes or going to work are gonna be higher level and require more spell slots. Lower level tasks like uh, taking a shower requires less spell slots, maybe only one or two. Effortless things like having a snack or watching a cat video can even be considered to be a cantrip, which means that the task can be performed at any time without burning a spell slot. Some people, like children, may seem to possess an infinite wellspring of spell slots. Others, due to their living situation, their age, or their physical or mental health, have much fewer spell slots. Some determined adventurers, such as athletes or type A people, can train themselves to increase their spell slots through physical training or through making tasks more efficient. Luckily for you, you can do the same thing. There are also certain activities that will help you regain spell slots. But first, let's explain exactly how to find out how many spell slots you have per day. We created a spell slot tracker that will help you rank and track your spell slots. You can grab it for free at the link below. Now, in order to find out how many spell slots you have, you're gonna need to get acquainted with this tracker for a week or so. As you go through your typical activities throughout the week, what I want you to do is to list that activity under the corresponding spell slot. Effortless things should be cantrips. Remember, these things don't take any energy at all. Simple things like getting dressed may take one or two spell slots, while other things like doing your taxes or clearing out a nest of goblins is gonna take a lot more energy and may take three or even four spell slots. Level five spell slots are extremely taxing and probably take much of the day to complete. Now, if you're diligent and consistent with this, in about a week, you'll have a list of your most frequently cast spells, ranked by order of energy expenditure. You can take the average of spell slots used per day and take that number as your total spell slots available and put it in that section right here. Now that you have your total number of spell slots, you can gauge about how many tasks you can complete in a day. This can help you plan things with more reasonable expectations and can also help to explain why maybe you didn't get as much done today as you'd like. You have to wash the dishes and fold the laundry today, so maybe don't beat yourself up about not getting that second script typed out. Definitely not autobiographical here. Now here's the best part. You can do things to improve the number of spell slots you have available or to even regain lost spell slots that you've used. A quick fix, which I admit I've done a few times during these last six weeks, is to use a haste potion. If you aren't familiar with haste potions, I'm talking about caffeine. Caffeine can give us the energy to regain one or maybe even two spell slots if taken at a strategic time. 
Definitely check out the video here if you want to see how I utilize caffeine to create arcane recovery for my afternoon spell slots. For more long lasting gains, however, focusing on getting longer and better quality of sleep, adequate hydration, and increased physical activity can also lead to an increase in the number of total spell slots available to you. One last way to utilize the spell slot tracker is to use it as an overview of tasks that you can optimize and even combine. This can reduce the number of spell slots that you use for a given task. You can make level four or level five tasks come down to a level two or level three if you make the process of completing the task more efficient. You might find a better way of doing the laundry, washing the dishes, clearing out a goblin nest, or taking out the trash that reduces the energy expenditure that's required of you. You could also combine tasks together like a daily walk while listening to an audiobook in order to get more bang for the buck for spell slots used. As you can see, while this tool is simple, it can be pretty powerful if you use it in the right way. Now that you know how to use the spell slot system, I want to remind you of one thing that I think people forget or misunderstand. Everyone has a different number of spell slots that's going to be available to them. Everyone has different rankings for the spells that they have. What may be a level 1 spell for one person may be a level 4 for someone else. And that's okay. It's not a competition. Sometimes we're suffering from an injury or dealing with some other problem and we can even lose spell slots that we used to have. Once again, this is okay. This tool is meant to give you back control and not to turn you neurotic. It allows you to look at your specific situation and prioritize what's important to you. Don't forget that you have allies around you that want to help you on your journey. They can help shoulder your burden when you don't have the strength to do it on your own. You got one right here. Join our Discord community to find other adventurers like yourself on their own journeys. Party up. It's a great way to tackle some of the quests and missions in your life. So that's it for this week, folks. I hope that this helps you on your own health journey. As for me, I'm back on the wagon after a little bit of rockiness last week. This is one of the benefits of being accepting of setbacks and of failures. You usually come back stronger than ever. I'm ramping up my exercise programs, which I'll definitely talk about in future weeks. If you like this video and thought it was helpful, please subscribe down below and hit that notification bell to make sure you don't miss any of our future content that will gamify health and fitness to help make you an epic hero. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll answer them as soon as I can. See you next time, folks. And until then, don't forget to fortify strength.